Archangel Michael's Wisdom Teachings by Rana Vazain, Sacred Scribe Are you ready to take a stand? Beloved Masters, your greatest inborn desire is to return to full God consciousness. However, there is still much confusion as to how this is to be accomplished. Many of you are well on your way to becoming co-creative masters of light once more. It is imperative for you to remember, an integral part of your mission on earth is to share your wisdom with others after you have integrated and are actively living each new level of enlightened awareness. The collective consciousness of humankind within the third, fourth dimensional environment perpetrates separateness, limitation, and fear as well as a narrow focused reality, a rigid outlook. People often have a self-righteous attitude towards beliefs which are in conflict with the popular accepted belief structure. For your better understanding, we condense and recap some of the most important truths we have given you over the past years. When you tap into the cosmic mind of your Oversoul Higher Self, you begin to view the world and all situations from a higher vantage point, from a we perspective instead of an I point of view, which is the beginning of unity consciousness you gradually gain access to the storehouse of all possibilities within this sub-universe, which is innovative and limitless. All of the divine light substance of creation that you can integrate and use is being offered to you. You are being given an opportunity to manifest anything you desire, from the smallest, simplest things to the most complex and magnificent, as long as your intention is for the greatest good of all. Many are confused as to what you must do to prepare yourselves to reclaim this precious gift of love, light, as co-creators of the earthly plane of existence. In the process of awakening, you learn to turn inward in order to find the answers to the pain, fear, and emotional trauma that you have experienced in the past. And in the process, you gradually become aware of what brings you peace and lasting joy. Through a new, soul-inspired awareness, you become an observer as well as a participant in your everyday interactions with those around you. You begin to tap into your extrasensory perception, which is vaster and more powerful than you can imagine, as you learn to pay attention to what thought forms you allow to infiltrate into your consciousness. Negative fear-based thoughts and emotions projected or received through the solar plexus center create distorted vibrations of chaos, a sense of futility, and a lack of faith in yourself or in others. First of all, you must endeavor to add the magic elixir of love by accepting that you are worthy of love and then projecting the vibration of unconditional love to others. Your world will begin to change for the better. It is important that you understand you project or radiate vibrational patterns of a frequency and you magnetize to yourself the vibrational frequencies that match those you have sent forth. Lift and harmonize the electromagnetic frequency patterns you project and you will change your personal reality. It is as simple as that. As you begin to take control of your life and learn that you are the creator of your reality, one of the most important steps is to align your will with the will of your divine self within this sub-universal experience. You are not surrendering anything. However, you are giving your higher self permission to take an active role in your life. You quickly learn that lasting success is based on honor, truth, integrity, and pure intention, which are universal laws of the highest vibrations. Martyrdom and self-sacrifice are put aside as you learn that it is your birthright and your obligation to be an active, empowered co-creator of joy, peace, abundance, beauty, and harmony, which are to be made available and enjoyed by all within your personal sphere of influence. You will find that as you examine, change, or advance your beliefs of self, it automatically begins to affect your relationships or attitude towards others. You stop allowing your emotions to control you by projecting your expectations to others via the push-pull solar plexus interactions. You also cease giving your power away to others in an effort to attain approval or love. You are now focused on and project love, light, energy from your sacred heart within your solar power center. And even though you are aware of the thought forms and energy others project to you, you allow nothing lesser than the frequencies of unconditional love to take up residency within your auric field and your solar power center. As you reactivate the etheric threefold flame of divine will, divine love, and divine wisdom, which has always been in place over your solar power center as your shield of divine protection, 
you will once more have the assurance that all energies of a negative vibration will be transmuted before they are allowed to enter your force field. Your divine discontent will grow stronger and it will inspire you to learn as much as you can about the workings of the universe and the divine laws of creation. You will seek to balance your emotional awareness of spirit or our Father Mother God with the wisdom and a greater understanding of the vastness and wonder of creation. One of your greatest desires is to learn what part you are destined to play in this great ongoing drama of evolution and the ascension of humanity. Through your conscious endeavors, you are gradually balancing your chakra system, the seven major energy mind centers within the body which contain the Creator's seven virtues, attributes, and abilities for our solar system. This is so they will once again spin truly and in harmony. This in turn opens and unifies the seven seals of solar consciousness, which allows access to the higher multidimensional chakra system and the five higher rays of galactic consciousness. You are preparing the way for a higher soul merge, whereby your soul self replaces the ego desire body as director of your life's experience. This in turn allows integration of the multiple facets of your higher self and eventually with your divine I am presence. Humanity has always been connected to our Father Mother God and the Supreme Creator. However, their energy has been vastly stepped down through the many dimensions and the sublevel stages of consciousness. The miracles of these times is that the earth and humanity are being bathed in and blessed with the greatest infusion of divine light ever experienced since this sub-universe and solar system were created. Down through your many incarnations and the painful experiences you have suffered, you gradually placed protective shields around your heart and emotions and have often become rigid and inflexible in your thinking. If you don't love too deeply or intently, you won't be hurt. If you do not care too much for others or expect too much, you won't be disappointed or rejected. If you do not take a chance, step out of your comfort zone or try something new, you will not fail. These are some of the standard viewpoints of those stuck within the third, fourth dimensional illusion. Your current habits and beliefs are comfortable and safe, even if they do perpetuate a sense of separation, pain, and sorrow. You cannot integrate all the facets of your God Self without changing or dissolving the emotional and mental filters you have placed both within and around your essential being. Your auric field and the imperfections within your DNA that you inherited through your ancestry plainly display the shields, distortions, and protective layers you have woven around yourself. We have spoken often about releasing and healing the core issues that keep welling up from deep within, the guilt, shame, unworthiness, sense of failure and abandonment, which lead to depression, anger, fear and hopelessness. As you move up the ladder of ascension, these core issues will no longer be denied. They will roil and bubble to the surface and they will get your attention in any way possible, whether it be mental, emotional or physical symptoms and strife. Dear hearts, we implore you, do not deny these feelings any longer. Consider them a gift and an opportunity to once and for all let go of all the emotional trauma that is keeping you tethered in a world of illusion and separation. As an observer, allow the feelings to rise to the surface. Through your intention, affirm that you are ready to release these disempowering emotions. Go into your personal pyramid of light and power in the fifth dimension and lie upon the crystal table. See the violet flame of transformation blazing up around you, bathing, cleansing, transforming the thought forms and negative energies into pure crystalline light. Then envision that transformed energy moving within your body and filling those vacancies with more crystalline light substance. In this way, you are slowly but surely rebuilding your radiant vessel of light, which must be refined for each higher dimensional level. Practice the infinity breath and use the alpha mastery techniques to assist you and to speed up the process of transformation and empowerment. These are wondrous tools, but they serve no purpose if you do not take advantage of the gift. It has become the norm or the current fashion to turn to others for knowledge or for what you accept as your truth. However, this will quickly change as more and more of you tap into your own source of wisdom and the higher truths now available to all. Yes, it is true, there are those who have preceded you along the path as way showers and trailblazers. They are the ones who have dedicated themselves to unselfishly serve humanity. 
Faithful and diligently, they have traveled the narrow path of enlightenment, often uncertain as they traverse the known territory. They have been judged, ridiculed, and ostracized, but they have steadfastly kept moving forward. Inspired by a burning desire from within, they have done all that was necessary to prepare themselves to be the messengers of the new age. They have been instrumental in re-establishing the connections between humanity and the beings of light who reside within the higher realms of creation. We honor them for their unselfish service and dedication. However, the time is swiftly approaching when each of you will be asked to tune in to the frequencies of higher learning and expression. Also, it is important that you revive your innate ability to telepathically communicate with us so that you may gain access to the cosmic wisdom stored within the river of life light. It is your birthright and a part of your ongoing initiation into the more exalted states of consciousness. We implore you to seriously increase your effort to gain higher spiritual consciousness no matter where you are on the scale of enlightened awareness. Begin by asking for assistance from your angelic helpers and guardians from the higher realms. Dare to solidify your dreams and your visions of the truth by writing them down in a journal or on paper so that you have a clear, concise plan before you. Align your vision with divine will and always seek the highest outcome. Treasure each day as a gift from the Creator and live each moment to the best of your ability. Always seek to see the best in yourself as well as in others. Be aware of the small gifts and miracles that occur around you every day. Feel the sun's warmth on your skin. Breathe deeply of the fresh, clean air and focus on the beauty of nature, whether it is summer or winter. There are always things of beauty to inspire you, but you must look for them. As an observer or without judgment, review what you can change about yourself or do better. Begin with the small habits you would like to change and as you grow in confidence, you will advance in wisdom, discipline and spirit as you move on to greater accomplishments. We implore you, do not worship us or see us as above you. We are all facets of the Creator, just as you are. We wish you to see us as your brothers and sisters on the path, serving our Father and Mother God, just as you are. As the spiral of evolution turns, great change is inevitable. And we know that you are dismayed by what seems to be more and more chaos, conflict, and violence around the world. Again, we encourage you to focus on what is right in the world and to add your gift of loving energy and your God light to ours so that we may create greater and more far-reaching miracles for the highest good of the earth and for all humanity. The negativity, fear, greed, and struggle to gain supremacy over others seems to be increasing by leaps and bounds. And we tell you, our brave warriors of peace, it is not a time to be faint of heart. Gird your spiritual armor around you and stand strong and connected to your spark of divinity stored within your sacred heart. We have overcome challenges and obstacles much greater than these, and we promise you, together we will prevail. You are loved beyond measure. I am Archangel Mikael.